The next thing you might be curious about is if there's an easy way to see what changed and just kind of see the history of what's going on with all the source code changes. So for this, we can just kind of go back to where we were. We'll go up and then we'll go back into our source directory. Uh, uh, the, the way some people like to do it is uh, we can use the command line to do things using this thing called get log. So here you can kind of see that these are the last three commits that people did. Looks like Dimitri fixed for a forgotten line. Ivan Yassi merged something. And then, so you can kind of see a history if you press enter, but this is actually, I think, kind of difficult to use like this. So to get out of this, you can't really hit escape like you would think, but uh, if you hit control Z and then hit enter, it'll kind of get out of it. Uh, so what we can do to make it easier to see is we can get this new application called sudo apt install qget. And what this is, is a, a user, a GUI application that will kind of show us all of the changes and code and make it easier to see what's going on. So now that it's installed, we can just type qget. And it's important that we are in this source directory when we type that. If we would do that here, for example, it's nothing is going to appear because there's actually no source code in this folder. So you have to make sure that you're in the source code uh, directory when you run this. So now when I do it, I can just do my working, or I'll just, I'll just do this. And then now you can see a nice user interface view of everything that's changed on it. A few of the other nice things, uh, in addition to kind of just seeing all of this stuff, is you can see a, you could change between this log and the diff so you can actually see all of the code that changed so you can see that this this was added to it and then here's a feature auto smoothing for Bayesian curve these are all the files that changed with this one and then again if you click the diff you can see everything that was changed add or removed so that's kind of a neat way to see a history of everything that kind of changed with it and then there's some other uh, filtering options and things like that. Uh, this thing is kind of the ID for a commit. So a commit is pretty much the way Git works is every time you make a set of changes, it saves it as kind of like a bite size item. So if something goes wrong, it's really easy to undo it. So if, if for example, this commit broke a lot of things, it would be really easy for the programmers to kind of revert this or undo it. Uh, so if we look here, where's the, oops, yeah, if we look here, this is kind of the, the ID for it. I'm sure that's probably what, that's also what's showing right there. So that's, that's really all that is right there.